Six birds in a trench coat, building a zoo. Welcome back to Reptopia, and guess what? Oh, trees. Welcome back to Reptopia, to what is going to be the last episode. We have two areas unbuilt. This very uh, brown stripy place over here that is going to be a butterfly garden. And this area over here, which is going to be the habitat, pause, for the last animal, the spectacled caiman. Yes, the other caiman. But first, let me show you what I did off camera. I added the large playground, which is pretty much just the same blueprints as the small playground, except I Except I doubled the swing set, extracted that from this, and made it taller, and added more ropes, and also plopped in this thing. This thing is a little group of items that I have put down several places. There's one over here, in between the Komodo dragon and the Nile monitor. I also darkened these, and I think the color works a lot better, especially over here, in front of the habitats. And, of course, the same change has occurred with all of the signs in here. And no, I did not change every single sign manually. That is beyond even my apparently praiseable patience. I did not think I was patient until you guys started commenting on my videos, but hey. I simply changed the file in the folder. What folder? Um, yeah, if you want a tutorial on these things, um, actually there are many already, so go watch one of those. This thing has now also been put into all of the other habits. Okay, that thing's floating. Plop, now it isn't. So all the habitats that have one of these now have one that isn't ugly. I also added a new one here because I want to avoid that. Especially with the gharials. Because I have BBC again. Look at the cute little, you are so ugly. Okay, see this, this is an issue because they can't get in here. So I don't want this. Food will sit out here and rot, and they will starve, and it's a very bad combo. Also, I toned down these decorations just a little bit, mainly getting rid of the red flowers, both up here and all down here, except like right on the actual menu. Because up here, with the red and the green and the red and the green, it looked like Christmas, which is not what I was going for. The red and the green and the red and the green and the red and the green and the red and the green. Okay, this is going to be an interesting episode. What else did I do? I also darkened those. But I do think the colors are just a little bit too dull. That's flickering. Are we ever even going to get started on anything today? Or am I just going to keep correcting tiny things and show you other tiny things that I already corrected? All of the four menus and the sign, they're all in one file, folder, whatever it is called. Whoa. On Canva. Which means, if I want to change the color of these things, I can change every single one of them in all of the pages with just one click. Same thing with these four, and these are actually too bright. So this color I think it will have to make less bright, that color more bright, and then I had a specific issue with these. Because the background on this I made so much darker, and it only came out a little bit darker. Also, some of the pictures that I put in, these these all have different pictures, by the way. I have 22 different ones. The same background, but three different pictures. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the background is... Actually, I like it now, but this thing, this circle up here, is insanely bright. What else did I do? I uh, figured if people have to pee, they probably also have to pee while they're outside. So we have a toilet here. There is one here, one here. Because if children are playing in the playground for a gazillion years, they will then have to pee. And also, after you have eaten, you will have to pee. Move the plants out of the way. Let's get some curbs going. Maybe and not have a rock in the middle of the path. And then this thing is ugly. This is still a rock. This is part of the path. You cannot see that anything isn't exactly as all of the other stuff. Beautiful or at least less ugly. Filled up the last shelves in the gift store. These here on the back pretty much took all the small items that would fit on a shelf. Over here I did the same, but these plates are obviously displayed like that, not, you know, supposed to climb up and... Should I put up a ladder? No, I should not put up a ladder. Speaking of ladders, I did actually put up a ladder. Oh, I completely forgot about that and it took me like two and a half hours. Okay. So now, 
when you're... Eh. This is difficult. We come over here and there's this gate. Why is there a special gate? Hmm. Wait. You can walk up this thing, can you not? If you're, I guess, young and fit and able-bodied and all that. So you climb up here. And then you climb up here. And then you walk over here. Why are there buckets? Why is there a fish feeder? Oh, wait. Ta-da! So this was a pretty insane project. I wanted the fish feeders, but at the same time, the way the keepers fill the main game is basically just throw fish into the water, and then they're magically in there, which is not exactly realistic. So I kind of went overboard and built this ramp. So my idea is that, that these wheels can like drive them back up. I was going to go for chains, but, but then I didn't. Story of my life. I was going to, but then I didn't. And then they can come up here and you can hook them onto these things. And by these things, I mean that thing. Using that thing. And then you fill them with fish up here from your buckets and you flipping launch them. Also, with this underwater viewing gallery, I kind of want people to be able to see them swimming around and eating the fish. Let's do another segue. Speaking of underwater viewing gallery, right here, I am going to make one. So I guess let's get started. Step one, fence. Which for some reason hasn't really been step one on any other habitat that I've done. I'm going to start by making you this thing and also you this thing. Normal club. Uh, concrete. What am I doing? See, this is the thing. I start doing things without a plan and then things get weird. So what I'm trying to do is to get the height of this thing to be the same as this thing. Right there. Then all of it gray color, gray, white. Because that way the white line of the building is more or less repeated in. Yes. And now what I'm going to do is dig. I mean, I guess I could do underground toilets. I'm not going to do that. But I could make this whole area really large. I'm not sure why I would want to do that. But I can. Oh, I know exactly why I would want to do that. Yes, yes, yes. And you still don't know, because I'm being very cryptic. Wait, why Why am I being so careful? This will also have to be sunken down, because this is going to be water. All the way in here, but not all the way. That makes sense. So let's just check the Zoopedia. Spec Tuckled Cayman. Now, I have turned off all of the stuff, but I still want to make habitats that would actually kind of work in franchise mode. More or less. Sometimes less. Wetlands, savannas, and forests. Let's do this. So when they are indeed down here diving, they will be a little bit closer to the people. And also, I could maybe um, do less of the terraining until after I have done this. Maybe I should pick a different color. Maybe I should pick the same color as I did with these guys. But maybe I should pick the same color as I did with these guys. But maybe I should change the color that Okay, and now what we should do. Realize that the fence is messed up. And now we have floating plants for some reason. Slope. Smooth. Fence. Great. And, actually, touch it to the top. No. Are we flipping it the wrong way here? What exactly is happening? I am trying to turn you, not perform an exorcism. I just want you to have the same height as... Thank you! Now you're too tall. Now it is working. Yes. And let's just grab this thing and adjust and try to... No, 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 no. Click V for align to surface. Click C for become normally oriented apart from that. And the reason I am doing this is the same reason why I did it while doing the curves. See, this way I ensure that the edge of the pool will be completely flush with the fence. That is gorgeous. Then let's adjust these to the slope. I think that'll work. Yes. Okay, so kind of actually maybe should have... Now I'm scared. Yes! And I really like that also because this is supposed to be a wetlands type area and I was already considering maybe doing that. And now it did it. 
what is she talking about? What she's talking about is doing a little push, push, push along here and making sort of a little river pond thing. This area back here is going to be one of those areas with stuff growing on them. Pla delete, 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 delete. Oh, wow. Here. Maybe I'm just going to use a heck of a lot of that scaviola stuff. It's called scaviola, not scaviola. I also want to not have those there. I'm going to take just the bottom ones, put ankle snap to 15 degrees, and turn them once. Now, why am I using angle snap for this? Because I want the same thing over here. Bloop. Bloop. Plop. Plop. Way. Because we still have that softer slope, but also we are not wasting half of the underwater space by having no water there. And now I'm only going to take the top ones and I am going to do this. This is going to be an incredibly difficult corner. Uh, hear me out. Angle snap. Plop, 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 plop. Down. Over. Down. See? That works much better. Bring it to the height of right there and then move it in here. Plop. Oh! I actually found candy that's themed after this channel. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Because the candy is called Plop. That's right. Yeah, because I went to a different country to go to a party. It sounds super jet city. I assure you it is not. I live in Denmark. My friend lives in Sweden. And from nearest major city to nearest major city, it is a 40 minute train ride. So that's what I did. And then I went and got some candy the next day. This is one of the most boring stories I've ever heard, and I'm the one telling it. That's actually kind of impressive. Push, 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 push. So apart from the whole, I went to a party in a different country. Um, I had kind of the same experience while I was there, because I asked someone, are there any shops nearby? And they were like, oh yeah, you just need to go over there. They have like Gucci and, I don't think it was Gucci, it was some kind of brand everything that they were just name dropping brand name stores. And I was like, um... I just need toothpaste. I did find toothpaste because the gigantic mall also had, well, a pharmacy. And a candy store, which is where I found Plop. Look, the whole story comes together. Still boring, but... Corners are difficult when they're pointing this way. Wait, is this a thing where I could just do the thing and then not do all the other things? Let's grab this one. And then grab all of them and regret our life choices. Maybe I'll just do this one. And then that's exactly what I was not... Oh, but I can flip it on its own axis maybe and do this thing where it's like it's still a problem here. This is like a 3D puzzle with, with all the pieces or, or... I don't even know. Now I am building a little tiny river instead of focusing on the thing that I was doing before. So what if I take this one now and just scooch it out there? <gasps> Problem solved! Look! This looked like someone planned it! Amazing! Now why are the birds screaming? Is this going to be another one of those videos where the birds are screaming all the time? Hmm? Birds? Is that what it's going to be? That one probably should have been moved slightly differently, maybe? Um... Okay, I'll do that later. Let's just get a bottom in this thing. And also finish up... Uh, maybe I should just... No. So many half sentences. So little sense. What I'm trying to communicate is that I want water all the way out here in the big middle thing. So let's try moving all of it over here. Now, of course, we have the issue that when we do something here, we have to make sure it fits with two sides at once. That is never the easiest thing to do. See? Oh, that was easy. Okay, that, that looks good. Would it look good to have this also on the human side? Because either it will have to end here and still be on the human side, or we will move it out here and then continue it. Let's try that, actually. Path, and then... 
cover that up. No one is going to know. Really not sure what I'm doing here. That looks nice. Except for right here. That looks bad. Okay, great. Now everything is bad. This is why the pathing system is my favorite thing in the world. Can you please? Can you feel my rage at this? Yes, thank you. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, yes. No. Yes. Great. Awesome. Yes. That's fine. No, no, no. <sighs> oh, muffin. Do, 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 do. Why? What is happening over here? Okay, you know what? We're going to have many problems over here. We are going to cover them with rocks. But I mean, at least this isn't done. So I was doing one thing, and I'm going to do something else. What else is new? We're going to have too low. This can be a medium. Too low and a medium. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the alligators. Then we are going to have one that is tall. And we're going to use the same tallness, which is now a word, here and here and also here. Then I will copy you with the edumacation at the same height that you were originally at. Put you here and here and here. Switch out some of these. Um, let us grab the spectacle cane. And right here we're running into another issue because while these are in the same file and so all the colors are changed at the same time and apparently also interpreted in the same way, these are in a different file. So these don't match either. Much fixing. But first, let's see if I can get this tiny little river type area to work. Why are you not working? This may or may not work. I'm gonna go with not. That's a brontosaurus. Nope. Although, okay, it's supposed to be like that. It's an Easter egg. Because obviously a reptile park needs a dinosaur. I have decided that I like it. And that I'm going to give it a slightly bigger head. out here now are some rocks because uh, this cannot push 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 absolutely not so then let's go over here and get lost again let's get lost wait this one also has no curb i'm gonna curve up this one and i'm gonna curve up this one and then i'll be back well hello there now i am adding this one right here and again, camouflage the fact that it is a bug by making it a feature. Which also means, let's do that over here. Yep. And do that. Can we move you over here? Yes, we can. Great. Also need to debug this corner. So whenever path and terrain become problematic, the solution is rocks. Dirty looking cliffy area. Actually, these two look super stupid now. Delete. Delete. I know what I want to do here. Instruction. War turf. All. Color editor. Then we just need something that looks a little bit... I mean, would this be complete? No, actually, that... that okay, yeah. Why not? Okay, because it looks like the water is running, I don't care. It's fine. And just a few of these around the edge to sort of soften it up a little. This, like that. Nice. Yes. Take uh, this one, placing the tallest corner facing out many, many times. Nature. M-U-L-C. And then kind of continue the thing that we did inside the habitat. Rarely have I used this many rocks. Well, that's not true. Why does that look like a face? Now it can stare at people. 
And I don't want people walking from here over here. I know that the in-game little people cannot do that. But actual guests in an actual zoo would definitely start doing stupid things if given the chance. What on earth am I doing anyway? I am trying to create magic. No, the roof. No, none of you. I have a better idea. That was a worse idea. What am I looking for? Is this going to be way too big? Yes. I can already feel how many things I'm gonna have to adjust to make this work. The question is, is it worth it? New plan. Wait a minute. New new plan. You can be here. And then you can be moved and attached. No. This. No. Bloop. Bloop. Down. Is this one of the things that will look bad before it looks good, or is this one of the things that will simply look bad? Well, at least this isn't ridiculously difficult at all. And at least it isn't something I'm doing again with no plan and no idea of whether or not it will work. It's called experimentation, okay? It's not stupidity, it's science. See? See? And then I want a triangle in either hole. What is happening? There we are. So now we have these weird looking open corners that I need to close. One, two. This looks like an alien thing. I mean, that's... What if we do this? Wow, that looks like some kind of a space helmet. This is super weird. And I still haven't done this. Great. Let's put some water in here and see what happens. What? Why can't I put the water up to where I could put it before? Seriously? Now what? Obstruct. Sometimes I hate things. It was up here, and now it can't. Oh. Oh, this is why. Well, then let's just say that this thing is also glass. Does that help? Yes. We're gonna need to do a lot of terraining. And I am trying to do this entirely with soil and not with those mud panels because apparently animals are unpredictable as to which surfaces they are capable of walking on. Then we will do tiny push. This really is very tiny. Not much is happening. And also, why are we doing these microscopic adjustments before checking if the major adjustments have the effect that we want them to have? I don't know, but we are. Okay, we're not. So in most areas, but no. Okay, so what we're gonna do, actually, is take all of this and bring it a tiny bit up. Then, tiny pull. See? That helped. Of course, now we don't know if the stupid little animals will be able to get into the water. Let's put some animals in here. We have animals! Um, okay. Also, my screen recorder decided that actually recording the screen was for losers. So, all of this has happened. And, and, and also this. Also, I deleted the roof. Yeah, so, um, let's get some plants in here. What I want to do plant-wise. I really want to differentiate this habitat both from this one, which is the tropical looking swamp, and this one, the I guess more subtropical temperate North American swamp. The thing is, these guys live in the same area as those guys, so logically their habitat would look very similar. But look at this, it says aquatic, tropical, and also grasslands, so I'm going to be going more grasslands in this habitat. So I think that I want to go for more brown colors in the plants, like something like these. And yeah, I'm definitely also going to be using other plants, but I want to start with these. So sort of give it a base, just priming the canvas, I suppose. Same thing inside, many grassies. So before I move on, I want water streaming out from here. If the water continuously comes out of this thing, then where does it go? I need to add a grate at the bottom of all of these. So if we want this a hypothetical system to clean the water, we should put it as far over this way as we can. Because then this will be pulling the water that way and it will come in here, back out, circulate it like that. And the same thing will somehow happen out here, where I will put a thing parallel with that thing. Of course, that kind of means I have to have the water coming in somewhere. Why do I continuously complicate things for myself? 
So then I'm trying to get this thing to look like someone who knew what they were doing placed it there, rather than me. Yes, birdies, I know. It is about to be bird o'clock. I just want to get this thing to work. Please. Okay, that actually helped a lot. Then what happens if I copy the entire thing? Press play. Then I think we need waterfall bottom. I think the reason they start screaming earlier and earlier, the little birdos, is that it starts getting light earlier and earlier. So in their mind, it is now the time of day when it has this level of light. Nile Monitor is about to die of old age. How long has it taken me to build this zoo? Does the thing that I want not exist? Did I make it up in my head? This is the thing that I wanted. I want that feeling of the water running point in the right direction and then sink it down until it is not visible on land. Yeah, that's fine. And now, please enjoy this speed build, or speed gardening, where I changed my mind a record number of times. crazy enough to still be around, please punch that like button in the face. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. Okay, I kind of hate that thing. Do we want it more green? Because we already have this part, which is way more green than this part. This is the dry buffalo grass I'm adding, and some normal buffalo grass sort of in between it. So we can kind of green it up and still have it as more of a grasslands feel. Common salt part. If I put these down here, then no one will go up here because they can't. So for some reason, these things have the largest hitbox of, I think, anything in the game except for an elephant. And the flipping croc gator. I mean, that kind of looks good. And put this over here, and put this here, and put one over here, and put a few up here. And treat these more of just as a grassy thing. More of just as a... Hmm, that was an interesting order of words. Oh yeah, the... Drin grass would be perfect for this habitat because it's not yellow wilted, but it's also not super bright. I wonder, is Drin grass traversable? I kind of hope it is. I really hope it is. And I will add a little bit of fine sand everywhere just to yellow the whole thing up. And do the same in here. I think we're there. 
beautiful. Unless I want to add one of those underwater fish. No. So the only thing that the habitat needs is something to take pictures of their gate. It says camera view. Why did I not know this? Cam spec came. Okay, I should do the camera view on the others because that looks awesome. I learned something today. We need education thingies for the butterflies. Now the issue I have with these is that they're ugly. This is too small. This is very large. Now you look like a tombstone. Okay, step one. Align to world, because that way all of the other stuff will also be aligned to this thing. Absolutely not. What if I put two next to each other? That might give us a better area to work with. Okay, so that actually follows the slopey thing of the thing a thing. It only makes sense if I have three. And I do like actually the look of three screens next to each other. I do not, however, like the look of that thing. What if we ask for bamboo? If we put this thing back here, angle snap. And then we can bring you out here and down here. If we do this, that's worse. That's better. But this is the same. Okay, now it's starting to look very brown. That's okay. Let's go into media devices and give me the small screen. I think that is starting to look like a pretty convincing butterfly education station. Make into group. And you have sulfur monarch swallow. So we just need to turn you into the yellow butterfly and place this thing here. This is going to take a while. Let me put up the rest of the education. I'll be right back. All of the education has been placed, some of these have been deleted, everything practical is now in order, except for that. Butterfly land gets bamboo. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so then we need to do something about this horrible thing. If I were smart, I would simply place this wall here and then put doors. Now, why don't I just use the same one that I used inside? It's fine. Okay, moved on. Gardening. I want one cherry tree here, one cherry tree here, one cherry tree here. I want one here, here, here. So the reason why I don't like butterflies is that I find them creepy. First of all, have you seen their faces? Moths have cute faces. Butterflies look like they want to murder you and drink your juices. And in fact, some butterflies do prefer feasting on corpses, human or otherwise. Anyone see that episode of Bones? Also, the way they move, you never know where they're going to land because the way they flap is completely unpredictable. A bird has direction. Butterflies just have flap. So one minute, they'll be peacefully headed for the bush right next to you, and the next minute, it's in your eye, or I bet it's trying to drink your eye juices. And I know, I know, being afraid of butterflies is not rational. Because even the ones that eat dead things, they don't eat them until they are dead. They don't murder things. But I think they're disgusting. I mean, I'm getting better. I can actually go into like an insect house, butterfly house now, and not scream, mostly. But I really don't want them flying around me. I also have a garden, as I have mentioned before, as a place of letting my dog out. And we have a lot of different plants out there because we really want all the insects, except the mosquitoes. But we do have a pond, so uh, mosquitoes are kind of gonna happen, except for the fact that we have koi fish. And they are very, very good at eating mosquito larvae. So we actually have fewer mosquitoes now than we did before getting the pond. And still we have so many more other insects. Dragonflies and these tiny little flies. I don't know what they're called, but they sort of hang in the air, especially around dusk. And if you see them from the right angle, you can see there are just thousands of them. And we have more bees as well. 
I feel like I'm talking about a bunch of things, but none of them really have any kind of really coherent anything. I could talk about my fish. We have, well, we had 14 koi. When I say had, this is not a sad story where we have fewer. They decided to have babies. So now we have approximately 200, I think. We haven't actually been able to count them because they move. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to think of a lot more names because of course we name all our fish. I wanted koi since I was a little girl. My mom and I went with my dad to a some kind of conference thing. I don't know what it was. But at the hotel, this is the point I am attempting to make, they had koi in the lobby and you could pet them. And since then, I wanted petting fish. So then, of course, when we got a pond and went to buy the koi, the guy selling them said that he could tell which ones would be easy to tame. And he was right. The first two fish to eat out of our hand were the two fish that he had predicted. Mason and Tony. Mason is a so-called tea carp. He has the color of weak tea with too much milk. But despite him having none of the gorgeous bright colors that some of the other fish have, Mason is my favorite. Because while many of them will eat out of your hand, Mason will actually come up to you, no food involved, just because he likes to hang out with the people. Buttercup does that too, but then he'll give you a hickey. Seriously, I got a hickey from a fish. This is turning into a pile of Alice in Wonderland ridiculousness. Now normally, if you are trying to do garden design, and you don't want it to look like a fairy tale gone wrong, you want to stick to a limited color scheme, and also to a limited number of foliage types. You would not do what I am doing, which is throw everything in the pot and stir. There are specific color combinations that can be popular, and that also changes. I mean, garden design, like so many other things, is fashion-based. I remember there was a period many, many years ago where bamboo was the thing that everyone had to have. I mean, I don't remember the period where everyone had to plant the bamboo, but I do remember the period where all of the bamboo died because it only lives a limited number of years, and then suddenly half the gardens were full of dead plants. Some time periods have been all about mimicking nature, others have been about controlling nature, exerting human influence and being the masters of the universe. And with the world as it is, and focus as it is, we are now going back to basically don't mow your lawn, don't rake the leaves. And yet, we have homeowners associations, definitely in the States. I know quite a few people living in areas where if your front yard is not sprayed into submission... Anyway, what I was trying to say is that we are moving towards a more natural and wild thing again. Because nature doesn't plan which colors grow where. A few years ago, my husband and I were putting in a new flower bed because whatever had been there before had died a horrible death. And he wanted... what are those colors called again? They're not kawaii. That's something different. It's also not kawasaki. A Kenzo! Yeah, that's it. He wanted Kenzo colors. It's a very specific combination of colors one of them being lime green, and that proved extremely difficult because the area that we were planting these things in was very sunny. And lime green is a leaf color that can only really survive in relative shade because the more sun a plant needs, the more pigment it also needs to protect itself against the sun, much like humans. That's also why leaves tend to be lighter in color in the spring and then get darker. So when you see these trees with the almost burgundy leaves, that tree is wearing sunscreen. I think that is cute. I love trees. I know that people use the word tree hugger as a negative, but if you have never hugged a tree, then you need to go hug a tree. Seriously, show some appreciation. 
No trees, no oxygen. Okay, other plants will make oxygen too. The trees are best at it. They're amazing and they live for so long and they can communicate. Not the way we do, obviously, but they are capable of communicating with, among other things, chemicals. Which is why a giraffe will move against the wind. Because the giraffe's favorite food is capable of creating its own protection. Which not only tastes really bad, that's why the giraffe doesn't eat all of the leaves on one tree, but just eats a few and then moves on. It's also spread through the wind to other nearby trees, which can then start protecting themselves before anyone even takes the first bite. So, if the giraffe kept moving downwind, its food would have been warned. How many plants have I put down? What's the peace cap now? See, this is why I'm doing this last. Do insects prefer really colorful flowers? That was a trick question. Because, as you probably know, humans can only see a very limited spectrum of colors compared to what insects and also birds can see. I watched a documentary once about a parrot, an African grey, who had learned many, many colors. But for some reason, this was not the point of the documentary, this was just a little side story. For some reason, they couldn't get the bird to understand what orange was until they looked at the things they had been using under UV light because birds can see colors in the ultraviolet spectrum. And they realized that the different things they had been calling orange to a bird would have about four different colors. I haven't tried teaching my birdies about colors, but I have been trying to teach Pablo that different objects can have different names. I already taught him to, uh, to play fetch, basically. I throw a ball and then I ask him to bring it back to me. And he thinks that is the funnest game ever, especially because bringing back the ball results in getting an almond, not a whole almond. He would be super fat if that were the case. So then I started teaching him, this is the ball, and when I ask for the ball, this is what I want. There's also hat and white ring, which is the thing at the center of a thing of tape. That was many times a thing. And he is definitely getting the hang of that, although only on good days. Some days he just really cannot be bothered to make the effort, because I do think it is an effort for him. I do think this is maybe right at the edge of what this species is capable of understanding. So on a good day, he just hops right out, gets me the hat, ignores the pen, even though that is his favorite. And on a bad day, he brings me whatever is nearest, and if I don't accept it, he will either go get another random thing, or he will bite me. Yeah, when you have a bird, it's not a question of whether or not you're gonna get bitten, it's a question of when. And people who ask for a quiet bird may as well be on the market for a naturally purple sheep. Plop, 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 plop. Well, speaking of plop, um, I ate the plop. It was uh, pretty disappointing, actually. Kind of tasted like sawdust and regret. I should probably add a caveat that the chocolate I usually eat is very high in cocoa. And by very high, I mean 99%. Nobody else I know will go near it, so it is all mine. But yeah, the plop had a very um, disgusting consistency as well. It was kind of grainy and at the same time, slimy. Ta-da! Look! These actually even match the benches, even though they're completely different. And these little butterfly houses match the flowers. We have everything from blue to pink. We have yellow. Yay! And yes, I am planning on doing a full tour of the zoo to end this series. However, that's going to be in its own separate little non-episode because I really don't want my videos to exceed 45 minutes. Bye!